Hey everyone, Izzy Noodles here, and we are back with the final part of Emerald Dreams. So, first things first, I will place the dragon key here. And that will open this gate. That may be quite obvious. So we've got a bit of a labyrinth to go through now. It's not too difficult to get lost. So, we've got a lot of jumping. So for each jump you do want to grab in the air. And also you can see we've got some monsters. Because these ledges are so narrow, I recommend getting rid of the monsters when you can. So it's you won't lock onto them, they're a bit too far away. So just do your best. It will take a while. As long as you can see the blood, you are hitting them. There we go, there's one. And there is another one straight ahead. You can also notice that lever there. So write that one down, that's important. There we go, so I've pretty well lined up with this next one. So it just makes it so much easier for you to get rid of the monsters now because otherwise they're going to be pushing you off the edge and you don't have room to jump around them so they will take chunks out of you <laughs> come on okay so now you can hop down here and you won't be able to get back up but that's fine so if we hop to this gap we can see here, don't forget to grab in the air. To make a slight detour for that med pack you can just see. Oh, so if you do that just hold, hold down the grab button. <laughs> so you just want to run and jump over to here. And you do also have some ammo here as well. Go, so just jump back to where you came from. Ooh, oh. Okay, so you don't actually need to grab that one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try this jump again. So when they're at a bit of an angle, you don't have to grab in the air. There we go, slide straight on in without grabbing. And for this one, you're aiming for either one of those gaps, it really doesn't matter. 99% of the time I end up in the gap that's on the right. So you're doing another jump and V around, there we go. And from here you're aiming for uh, that gap straight across to the right, but there's a couple of items just in here. So you want to standing jump, don't grab for that one. So you've got some, some more ammo and a small med pack. And this might actually be a very good place to save. So you're aiming for that gap. So there is a monster in the gap and as I said they are very difficult to actually jump around. Not easy getting into that gap either. So maybe angle a bit more and grab. And there we go. So when you take a few steps forward, <laughs> it will spawn. So you want to try and just keep running over it, jumping over it, and jumping forward. Oh, come on. So there are spikes, you can hear the spikes, so just be careful of those. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, because he just pushes you off the edges where there is no wall, or he can push you into the spikes. This might be a, a good place to save as well, maybe. So that's actually why it's better off to kill the monsters when you can. So you're just following the path round. 
jump to this next gap. This one can be a little tricky. There we go, you've got another monster around here. It's a lot easier to get though. So you've got a lot of space for jumping just here. So now we're heading that way, but first there is a secret, secret number four that we're gonna get. So just hop down here and you can see this gap here, so just climb up. You have to press the crawl button here to climb up. And you can press the sprint button to do the roll maneuver. Just hop out of the gap. And here it is. So now just jump back up. Make your way back out. So try not to actually just jump out of this gap like I have done before. So just vault up to this higher level. So you're gonna run and jump to this next ledge. And I believe you can just do a standing jump to here. Don't need to grab. And you can do a standing jump to here as well, I think. <laughs> and I do save a lot in mazes. There we go, that was a standing jump without a grab. Another standing jump with a grab. And there is no roof on the next one, so you don't have to grab. And there is a ladder here. So climb the ladder and as soon as you can see the ledge like that straight in front of the camera angle, you can backflip onto it. So there's the lever we want and it raises the platform right there. You can't see it very well, quite dark, but that's what it raises. So now we want to come this way to make our way to the lever. And we're not aiming for that block that's on the right just there. We're aiming for the one in front. Because that one to the right is just a little bit too far. You can't anger yourself properly to get to it. So firstly, just grab these flares. And I believe I've actually missed an item. So let me, I might have to go back. So it's not far. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> Let me see, can I get back to it? So you want to go back. Well, you don't have to. Oh, no. That's fine. That's still okay. <laughs> so to this ledge is the ladder. And the item is right there. <laughs> so we've got a small med pack. So these jumps can be a little annoying. There we go, and then just continue along. <laughs> such lining up there we go so this there in the corner would be where I just picked up the flares so here you want to do a standing jump and now you want to do another standing jump but time it so uh, you jump just as the spikes are about to go up there we go then jump to this one And then along to the next one. It is pretty simple to see where you're heading to. It's not mazy as, as such. It is a bit mazy. <laughs> okay, so you want to just do your best on this one. 
so here we go. Here is the lever. And I believe I lied to you. The lever doesn't actually raise the grate. It lowers that block in front. So. So you can do a, a standing jump to that gap. And now you've just heard the grate go up. So standing in this gap activates the grate. So now we're just aiming for this block. I'm not sure if this is a standing jump. Ooh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. There we go. So you would have landed on the block to the left there and then jumped onto this one. And here is the grate. So run and jump to the grate. It's not timed. So you've got plenty of time to do what you need to do. Faff about like I do. Oh, nearly ran off. Don't do that. So you're just running and jumping to this bit. And here is where the first monster was that I shot. So, you know, there's not much room to jump around. So you want to... Oh, nearly didn't make it. I jumped too soon. <laughs> Run and jump to here. And this is the laser sight. Or it's actually called a sight thingy. Let's have a look. Sight thingy. So from here... You can go down, those spikes won't impale you, they won't activate, but the fastest way back to the start is just back this way. So the block that lowered, it actually took me a long time to find it the first time I played. So walk to the edge and it's right there, the block that lowered. And this jump can be a little bit tricky. So, do your best. Good luck. <laughs> so, veer to the left and grab and pull up. And this is the start. We're back at the start. So now we have a revolver and laser sight. But before I continue, I'm going to go back and get that last secret. I'm in the wrong area, where am I? Where are you, Clive? Is he back this way? Here he is, here's Clive. <laughs> So you're coming into the water and you're heading for where you found the dragon head receptacles. So into the water, hop out here, into this section of water. <laughs> Here we are. So we're placing the four secrets that we have now. So you may assume that um, placing them opens the gate. If so, correct. <laughs> they open the gate. So behind the gate is this golden skull, which is the fifth and final secret. So you can't get this last secret unless you have claimed the first four secrets. So now I'm just going to continue on with the rest of the game. There we go. So if you get 
get stuck, just sort of go left and right. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so the room straight ahead. This is where the labyrinth was. And now we're heading into this section. So remember there were the two staircases. One of them had the boulders, spiked boulder, explodey spiked boulders, or whatever they're called. <laughs> and stand at a safe distance <laughs> so you can shoot them. Okay, so now we can. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> now we can go up that staircase. We can't go up that one yet because there is a closed gate. So. So at the top of the stairs is where you want to combine the uh, laser sight or the sight thingy with the nasty gun and equip that. Also, you will want to save. When we come inside, we've got one of these, and you can duck down here to not get caught. He's not seen me yet. <laughs> He's lost. So wait for him to power up and up to the side. Oh, a mist. Hang on. Not doing so well today. Damn. If I use too many bullets, I will reload. Keep jumping into the wall. I'm doing pretty badly today. Oh, I'll reload. I'm wasting too many bullets here. I don't want to be doing that. So I wait for him to see me. I wait for him to start powering up. Why did you do that, Lara Croft? So I jump again, press your look button, zoom in. That was a close one. Come on. Don't know how I didn't die. Oh, this is frustrating. You know when you do pretty good on your practice runs? And you are actually shooting me in, in, in the eye? <laughs> Alright, come on now. by some miracle I didn't die there. <laughs> so you have to be pretty precise. That's really annoyed me how badly I did there. So now we've got this item. This is a thistle. Here we go. And we can use it on the other staircase to open the door that's at the top. Here we go, so just place it in the receptacle. And inside we've got some red clives. They do not do anything. <laughs> also, be careful of the spikes. And then this gate, when you approach this gate, this gate will open. And inside are the Thelmidikes. I believe that's how to pronounce them. So you don't want to draw your weapon yet. So come forward, because if you draw your weapon at the door, she will lock onto the wrong target. Also you've got them monsters that are so annoying. There we go, one's down, once one is down, another will activate. 
so this is slightly long-winded which is why I didn't want to use or waste my revolver ammo so the most annoying part of this is the two things that are following me around Damn. Also, the Thalmidikes do drop items, but they are impossible to pick up. Oh my goodness. Finally, last one. <laughs> So it seemed as though he was actually shooting multiple fireballs, which he seemed to have spiced things up a bit. They don't really do that. Oh wow, I'm gonna die. Just trying to aim for the um, these two, because they are so annoying. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. <laughs> oh, he died too. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, so something that I didn't mention is that if you are targeting the wrong enemy, you can press the look button to swap whoops hang on just trying to <laughs> cheat and save all right so i'm out of revolver ammo i'm doing pretty well right now actually Okay, so last one. I'm doing really well on health. <laughs> I keep jumping backwards mostly to oh, avoid these two. There we go. Those two are the most annoying. Oh, my health isn't as good as it was. Awesome. So, let me just... My fingers are hurting now. <laughs> so, I mentioned that the Thalmidikes do drop ammo, but they are impossible to pick up. So also you've got the dragon key here that the last one dropped. Two pedestals at the back. Mm -hmm. So one's got ammo and one has a large med pack. Mm -hmm. So now we just have to get out of here. There is this ladder which we can climb. just jump across <laughs> to here so the dragon key that we've just picked up goes here on this stand and often this is the part where I remember I've forgotten to pick up that final secret that last secret but you can't go back for it <laughs> so I'm always forgetting that but today I didn't, so I'm very pleased. And then just hop up. The hatch has opened once you place the dragon key. And that 
is the end of the game. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Emerald Dreams. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy. You did it. You destroyed the slimy dykes. No problem. If they return, I will call on your services again, Miss Croft. That's great. Right. Let's go and play outside.